Hi, Bo. Yeah, no worries. I hope work goes well.
Yeah, I'm currently uploading VODs. <clears throat> because I have yet to do that. And I don't want them to expire before, you know, I upload them. Okay, looks like we're having network issues already, which is fun. I haven't even started. Concerning. Dishonored open. I'm prepared for the loud as fuck Bethesda opening. Yeah, Bethesda jump scare, kind of. No? Okay. I guess we're not uh, doing that, then. That's good. Can we do something, though? Hmm. It is taking its sweet time. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why this is taking so long. Hello.
Oh, thank you for the hydrate. That reminds me. Okay, my water is full. A little waiting sippy. Let's continue the music. But yeah, so I'm basically just going personally through uh, Arcane's whole catalog. Well, Arcane's modern catalog. Just because I actually do want to get to Deathloop, but I want to experience their other games first. <clears throat> and I did do it out of order, uh, because I did uh, Prey first. And then Dishonored in my own time. So, oops. There we go. Don't do it. Oh, look at that. It's not uh, ear-bustingly loud this time. One second. Music, I'm sorry. All right. Just until Darkest Symbol is barely visible. Uh, yeah. I want it a bit lighter than... A little bit lighter, just for stream stuff. My monitor is different. Headphones, yes. Master volume. Music volume. We want speech to be prioritized. Yes. I want less head bub. There's a street sweeper outside. It is loud. Y'all probably can't hear it due to my mic settings, but yikes. I don't think I need a tutorial. I did just finish uh, Dishonored, pretty much. Uh, very hard. That's too hard. Why not? Fine, yes, I'll do the tutorial. Dunwall, 1837 to 1852. As Emily Caldwin, ruler of the Empire of the Isles, you have numerous enemies. Your father is Lord Corvo Atano, infamous royal protector and spymaster. In the years since you took the throne, Corvo has spent many hours training you in the arts of stealth and combat. I remember training with my father in the years after the Rat Plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. One moment. Very low. Why is it... <laughs> why is it very low? Why is it very low? One moment.
Uh huh. It's using my integrated graphics for some reason. That's odd. Yeah, that would uh, explain it, I guess. I just don't know. I just don't know how it's uh, appearing on OBS. OBS doesn't like using different graphics cards. Yeah, I was about to say like, yeah, no, that would do it. That would that would fucking do it. One second. BRB. Music, you have a chance again. That's incorrect. I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna have to do some um, <clears throat> computer surgery really quick. And by that I mean I need to swap my fucking uh, monitor output. Okay. We still alive? Looks like we're still alive. Uh, it's not reading my, uh, graphics card for graphics settings on Windows. Which is wild. Yeah, no, it is. Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna be opening up Dishonored 2 and trying again. Why is it going over here? Hello? Cool, so we're on the wrong screen, which is fun. Nice. 
Okay, cool. Good to know. Let's try that again? Question mark? I love having game problems, uh, on stream. <laughs> this is wild. Okay. Windows keeps trying to tell me to, uh, kill Dishonored 2, and I'm like, no, let it load, let it try. Are we gonna be have to be, uh, are we gonna have to play something else? Because <laughs> I'm fine with that, I'm just like... That's weird. Last stream, it was perfectly fine. Oh, thank you, Katie. Oh boy, Dishonored is in full screen, uh, but it is taking up approximately a quarter of my screen, uh, and I can see everything else around it. <laughs> I'm going to play Dishonored like this. Oh, Jesus. So... Yep. Reorient yourself. Do your thing. Uh... I can't even make out the text. Okay, nine. There we go. You know, I'll be real. I appreciate uh, when a game has the ability to choose in game what monitor it's on in full screen. I I I have so many games that will just choose whichever one, and then you have to suck it up and deal with it. I appreciate that. I enjoy that in a game. So let's try this again. Okay. You know what? Already feeling better. Can I get a... Let's just try high. Because my graphics card is newer than this game, so... Said we're gonna do hard, start the tutorial. Alright, 
let's turn off that music, though. Thank you, Hylix, too. You have done your best. I remember training with my father in the years after the Rat Plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. Okay, mouse sensitivity is a little low, but we're fine. We're good. I love when games uh, work as intended. Yep. Mm hmm Still a little low. And smells of Dunwall never change much. Okay, let's get some subtitles. Because subtitles are good. This is my city. Dunwall's stinky, apparently. What training regimen does Father have in store for me to All right, do? Majesty. Let's see what you can do. Oh, okay. Every day running and jumping. Now to test my agility. Come to me. <sighs> You've learned well. Yeah, fucking full force face quiet smash. You are, young lady. Press C. Press C to toggle stealth mode. Okay, I feel like. One second. Gameplay. No. Visuals. Quality settings, advanced settings. Father's always on about the value of quiet feet. Oh yeah, no, her outfit's fantastic. Person who gets to wake up and go home. Kill him. Get his ass. Woo! That's my girl. Let's see how quiet you are, young lady. Don't make any 
sound. Didn't see anything at all. Stay low and out of your enemy's line of sight. Why fight when you can slip past? Yeah, okay. Remember, a pistol will wake up everyone in the building. Your crossbow is quiet. Perfect shot. Yeah, all right. Excuse me, rats. Thank you. Time for some more weapons and combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? <laughs> oh, that's really good dialogue. Yes. You hit hard. That's my daughter. When someone swings a sword at you, block. Your blade. Well done. Very good. Yeah. You've got a natural instinct for fighting. If you time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. You're quick. Smart move. Ow. Come on. You can choke an enemy out, even in combat. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Go for the fatality. Alright, kill him. deliver a fatal blow when someone swings a sword at you block feel better knowing you can take care of yourself when trouble does finally come you're ready to fight yay okay yeah so i'm i'm really liking the combat uh updates so far Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? That doesn't seem right. Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. No, I, I definitely think that second one should be avoided at all costs. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Yeah, a little extreme. Your signet ring. There, you're ready. Hi, Thank Parker. you, Lexi. Open the doors. Imperial Majesty Emily Caldwin. Loyal choices, subjects. choices. We're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin, 
May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. I look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble rousers, and we'll catch the crown killer. You know, eventually. I'll be honest, I miss. People are uh, saying it's you. That these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. I'll, 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 I'll let the scene before finish before I give my thoughts. We have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Sirkonos. Ramsey says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. Duke of Jakonos. Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano. A native I would of love some cheese. Land. Jaconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation. The rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks. For now, I give you the greatest gift of all. Family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin. Your rightful empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece. Hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long yeah, no, as you Yeah, no, she are. sounds, uh, Little Sparrow. like she has yeah, a reverb filter on. Memories. I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal protector. How naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you. But that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah. First of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the crown killer murder. What? So the big draw of this game is that you can either play as Corvo, the uh, protagonist of Dishonored, or you can play as Emily Caldwin, who is Emily Caldwin, uh, and his daughter. Um, I was going to say, though, I miss Corvo's, like, emo boy hair. I'll, 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 I'll be the first to say, I miss his, I miss his pretty boy hair. But... You know, let's let's put it to a vote. I think because I don't know uh, if I want to play as Corvo or Emily. So one second, let's pull. Uh, Dishonored. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't, 
I haven't done any uh, looking into this beforehand. I literally, all I know is that uh, I have played the first game and its DLCs. Uh, and I know that there's the choice. Like, I didn't, I didn't even know that his hair got shorter. You know? But I'm fine either way. And if it does change the story, fucking, I'll replay it. I don't mind. I fucking replayed Dishonored 1 almost immediately after I finished it. I'm pretty sure I know who Val is gonna vote for. Because, uh, Val likes Emily's jacket. Yeah, honestly, Major L. <laughs> uh, rest in peace. Your luscious fucking locks, dude. One second. While we're waiting on this, I'm gonna pull up a picture of what Corva looked like uh, in the in the first game. Ooh, someone fucking made a remaster of the goddamn image. That's really impressive, actually. One second. Alright. So it looks like Emily's winning out, which is fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah, fucking... This is gonna be huge, I'm sorry. Uh... Uh... Yeah, fucking, fucking, look, look at his, look at his luscious locks. Look, look at his fucking luscious locks. And then look at, look at, look at what he's got now. We're, we're missing out. We're missing out. He's fucking Matt Mercer ass hair versus whatever's going on over there. We're missing out. The down it's such a downgrade, honestly, yeah. He does look good with the beard though. The beard the beard does look good on him. I I'll give him that. But I'm sorry, Corvo. Dim down. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry Corvo, you're gonna get fucking uh murdered, I think. Play as Emily Caldwin. Yes. Cast you in cold marble. Sweet girl, over time you will come to love me. Perhaps someday you'll see me as the mother you lost. But until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, and I'll bring her to cold <gasps> prison until her trial. My father lost it all when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform, and I send 20-year-olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Yeah, that sucks. Wow. Hi, Corvo. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily, what No, 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 no! That'll be all, Captain Mayhew. No! Well, that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? No, give me the sword, I want the sword! 
There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. They say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. Yeah, so I'm going to try and do what I was doing for my what, game what of Dishonored. Alexi. The throne room. Father. Sorted. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do what I did for my personal game of Dishonored, which was try and do a stealth run, but murder the 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 target. Assuming it's the same sort of uh you know standard idea. Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna turn on V-Sync for, for some reason, despite the everything being limited to 60, it's still tearing, which is weird. Hi, ah, yes. Welcome. That's better. Empress, we face yet another murder, and I cannot remain silent on this matter. Strange, is it not, that all the victims have openly opposed you? If not strange, then oh so very convenient. <laughs> is there anything you wish to tell me, Majesty? How can I be an advisor if you don't include me in these most sensitive of endeavors? I feel I must be the only person in Dunwall who doesn't know the truth about the Crown Killer. Don't leave me out in the cold. I remain your trusted servant and advisor, Leonora Helmswater. I got fruit. Yum. I love fruit. <clears throat> Fresh food replenishes your health, while rotten food does not. Should I just spin it and pick a place to hide for a while? I need time to think. Oh, it always goes back to the same spot. Okay. Yeah, no, very fun UI. It's even got a beepy in it. These bastards are working with Ramsay and the Duke of Circonos. Here, let me... I think I'm good for now. I'm not blocking anything important. You're just missing the keys to, that I have to press in order to, you know... I'm locked away in <laughs> Dishonored 2 UI. <laughs> Alright, our most esteemed Empress, as you know, freight from Circonos, bound for Tibia, is now routinely set upon by pirates, or spoiled with bloodflies. In addition to the loss of Tivian lives, be they crew, dock workers, or shopkeepers, there is material cost of the cargo itself, which can barely be calculated. If things continue unchecked, we'd be forced to cease trading with Serkonos, and perhaps to even embargo shift from the southernmost isle altogether. But this need not come to pass. The Trade Commission is a reasonable body, and has already considered remedies to ameliorate the situation. We seek the following. Independent, qualified inspectors at all ports, patrols to defend against pirates and smugglers, compensation for the th previous and future losses, It is this list of remedies that I wish to discuss with you, in person, at the earliest possible opportunity. So far, your staff have resisted our efforts to establish a definitive time for negotiation. Prompt them to action. Majesty, for we are eager to travel to Dunwall. Until we can sit down and discuss this in a civilized fashion, I send you our best. Demian Shurigan, Principal, Tivian Trade uh, Commission. Ameliorate is a fucking fantastic word, yeah. All right, so I used to hide frogs in this old grandfather clock to drive the housekeepers mad. I thought life was complicated back then. Is this going to work like I expect? No, okay. Ooh, hell yeah, baby. I love you, ball typewriter. Fuck, so hungry. Feed it, frog. Mm. 
Yeah, no. Me too. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Of course. Understandable, really. How many times have I looked at that skyline? It feels like everything just changed. Well, that's because it did. Now, this will kill me, right? Is that... That, that, that... That's a jump that I can't really do. Welcome! No. Okay, let's go the other way, though, I think. Some sort of witch. How is this possible? Oh, Lady Emily, you're all right. Shh. I was worried. Dude, why are you saying that out loud? Where's the royal protector? There's a coup underway. My father is. He's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower, through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. Alexi, her body? I'm sorry. Goodbye. I don't know. I would say I'm a fan of redheads, but that feels uh, cruel to say to a corpse. Also, a little bit creepy. Captain Mayhew, you don't know me, but you've got to tell the Royal Protector that I have urgent need of his time. I'm carrying a message that has to be delivered face to face. Tell him I'm working with Anton Sokolov, an old friend. All the boats are being sent away from the docks, but I'll delay as long as I can. Tell Lord Corvo to find me there. My ship is called the Dreadful Whale, Megan Foster. Hmm. Okay. But I am going to go back to a quick save. Goodbye. Oh. Cool, they added body physics. Bitches hate Alexa, apparently. I don't know, I, I like her. For all of the two seconds that she was alive. Misogynist moment captured. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't like that. I don't... I don't like that. Uh, the lean is a toggle. The, the lean is a toggle. I don't like that. Let's not have that. Why is that a toggle? Yeah. <sighs> Left alt. Yeah, of course. All right, let's. Okay. Ooh, grapes. Yum. I know we're in a life or death situation, but the urge of gr to eat grapes is constantly, constantly upon me. I love desecrating corpses. Yay! Emily, I know times are hard. You're the ruler of four nations, and I won't pretend to understand the pressure you're under. Only you and your mother before you could know what that's like. Whoever's killing off your enemies is doing so for calculated effect. Oh no, that's the joke. Us. It's all it's a joke, it's alright. Like to be blamed for murders you didn't commit. But trust me, we'll find this crown killer, and they'll pay. Tomorrow is the anniversary of her death. 
sad day for sure. But I want you to remember all the I don't know if I appreciate that comment, if I'm being honest. Years. You've held on to the throne, and you've done what you thought was right for the people of the Empire. You drained the flooded district, kept the gangs in check, and yesterday we launched a magnificent ship bearing Jessamine's name. You're becoming the sovereign your mother wanted you to be, and I'm proud of you. Oh shit, I got 15 coins, yum. I love salts, I love bath salts. Big fan of salt. Hi, friend. Love salt. This guy's stinky, he's gotta take a bath. Let's go take a bath. Kinda underrated. I would love to do soy sauce shots with you, yes. Your heart pounding is part of it. It's it's important. It's definitely not a sign of anything wrong. Okay, I'm not reading all of this, but... Anyway, I love women. I love being a lesbian. Hell yeah. I hate it when women die. I hate it when girls die. Hey, are you? Put in a request for new boots, and what did I get? The sock. One useless sock. Huh. Usually I'd say that sucks, but uh, seeing as you just uh, committed a coup. <laughs> yeah. Too, honestly. I had a sandwich with some cashews before stream, but I'm still hungry. Wait a minute, why do I have Corvo's sword? Or do I have my own personal sword? That is just a lot like Corvo's. You talking to me? Thank you for the follow. Treading on thin ice. Oh, he's sitting. Oh, fuck yeah. He's so comfy in his shitty little sock. Light pouch. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> My finger must have slipped then, too. Thank you, Val. Ooh, so edgy. So scary. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I, I already had it, like, halfway typed out. Anyway. Oh, I should put her in the chair, you're right. I love it when uh, people on Twitch try to be all edgy and shit. 
Oh no. Oh. Oh, they added a thing. Uh whenever you're next to a chair and you and you put someone down, you put them automatically to sit in that chair. Oh no. I'm going to have too much fun with that. That's extremely funny. Can I sit next to her? Yeah. She's kind of taking up a lot of space. I don't know. She's kind of hogging it. But yeah, sure. How are you doing? Oh, you're dead. Right. Never mind. Oh, yeah. No. Don't you worry, Val. I appreciate it. Great party. Yeah. Throne room blocked off. We should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I've searched the royal chambers, assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. <sighs> this is exciting. Everything's changing. Yes, the natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my child. Whoa! With the buntings and the boils, the cream of society. Oh, and don't you worry, I will. You'll be back at the top, Captain. Yeah, so like I said, uh, I'm going to be doing a mostly stealth run with no kills except for the targets. So, at least ideally, I'm Ramsey's going to be doing no kills. Fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's my fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsay is too dangerous to be left in play. Oh, but, uh, oh well. If I eat it, then I wait. Oh, if he eats it, then what? Hello? Anyway. You deserve You deserve this. This won't leave my hand again. Yay! Yeah, that was just unnecessary, but I, I don't blame her. You fucking killed my dad! <laughs> Betty bye time! Good night, friend. Okay, so if you if you sit someone down, if you put someone down in a chair, they will just sit there. But if you toss them, they just they just go. That's fun. I like that. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can get these guys out of the way. Oh, what was that? What was that? Huh? What was that? What? Oh, I didn't even check up here, did I? Oh, I did. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, huh? Wild. Anyway. Huh. Who's there? Wild. You're gonna get and sat down in this chair. Damn, dude, are you okay? That sucks. Okay, so, yeah, he's literally sleeping, yeah. So, whenever you knock out an enemy, uh, in Dishonored. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I am gonna do that. Uh, whenever you put down an unconscious enemy in Dishonored... There we go. Uh, they, they do just start snoring, which is really funny. 
hold hands. Oh. Okay, we're fine. His head was like for a second. So sleepy, dude. This is horrid. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh. Oop. Yep. Hmm. You know what? Let's do this. Come here. Emily called with. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, well, <clears throat> I tried. I, yeah, I got lost in the sauce for a sec. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put you here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hate those dreams. Ooh. Prone inspect. Yes. No respect. What kind of fucked up throne is this? I'm sorry. Like, it's less tacky than, uh, you know, fucking someone else's throne that I can think of, but. What, if, what, why you got a fork back here? Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. Okay. I was gonna say your leg's missing, but you have you have other matters to discuss. I'm gonna put you over here. Yeah, okay. Barred from the outside. Okay. I guess we're going back. Ooh. Do y'all see, like, the little bits moving around? That's fucked. Hi, Corvo. Father. I don't know how, but I'll make this right. I promise. Senseless slaughter. You know, if it weren't for all the, uh, bodies here, this might be a nice place to live. Uh, so, Dishonored 1 was about Corvo Tano, the man over there, uh, trying to save the daughter of the Empress, Emily Caldwin, uh, from basically a political uh, conspiracy that was trying to control her. Anton Sokolov made this lock. Fuck yeah. Uh, I spent so many nights in here after the rat plague. And uh, at the end he saves her, depending on uh, what happens, whether or not it's, you know, brutally murdering everyone, or mostly not doing that. I better take these. I better take these. I have a feeling I'll need these. Oh, fuck yeah, telescope, baby. Yay! I love Spyglass. Um, this game opens up with uh, em Emily Caldwin having grown up, uh, and the reserves won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. I will take that gold ingot though. Imperial reserves. That's a lot of fucking gold. Uh, telescope. But yeah, so basically, Corvo Tano is the 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 royal protector. He's he's uh, Emily and Jessamine Caldwin's 
personal bodyguard. Uh, and after her death, he is given the powers of the Outsider, who is a sort of... I want to say mischief spirit, but his mischief is kind of more just murdering people. So, you know, not, like, that fantastic. Um, he works in the shadows. That's his... There is supernatural stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and depending on whatever route you take, the first thing that you get is the ability to teleport. Uh, which is pretty fun. Chunk. But yeah. So, it, it is it is a supernatural uh, drama. Delilah and Duke Luca Abel have taken the tower. Dunwall is no longer a safe place for you. Escape the city by meeting with a boat captain down at the docks. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. Pistol bullet. I should make my way to the docks. Do I get a crossbow at any point? I would like a crossbow. I think I might have missed the crossbow. Oh, shit. Just fucking rip that shit clean off. You got it, boss. The old whiskey tumbler. The old shit stool. Let's go. Yeah, no. I've got to get out of Dunwall. I'm sure we'll get it once the first, uh, you know. You can fall from moderate height without taking damage. Yeah, okay. I still don't want to risk it. We're good. To the Somehow streets. Somehow Delilah turned my father to stone. I will find a way to undo it. Yeah, so... Uh, Dishonored 1 DLC makes this a little confusing, I will say. Uh, because Delilah was dead. Or... Something akin to that. Uh, in the first one, she was she was the main antagonist of the DLCs, which is why I'm like, hmm, that's odd. I don't want to do. Oh shit! We can do non-lethal drop takedowns now. You know, uh, in, in Dishonored 1's DLCs, you either killed her, or you put her in a painting, which is, I don't know. Hey, I don't know if he's living after that. I'm not fit for the watch uniform. Hey, I'm sorry. That was called an un- like, that was called a non-lethal takedown. Um, we just smashed his head against pavement. I don't know if he's gonna come back from that one. He's fine. Yeah, okay. If you say so. He's alive for now. <laughs> Good point. I need to find a ship. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's dead. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Coldwin has apparently fled the scene. We've got to find her. That's it, you've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. Yeah, so... He's alive. 
for now. That's the important thing, really. I'm wondering... Can I drop to anything? I can drop here. Okay. Is someone in here? The former Empress, Emily Caldwin, has been accused of high crimes against the state. Any Stay ready. I want you in place just after the Duke and our new Empress make their appearance. Things will happen fast. Do your part and there's a share of the spoils for you and the others. Turn on me now and I'll ask the Duke to send his assassin after your dear old parents. Trust me, the so-called crown killer is the last inner guest you want in your home. Mortimer Ramsey. The caught harboring her is equally guilty of treason. So I have to... Still gets me one. But then if I eat it, <clears throat> no, no, if he eats it, then, then oh. what? Damn, that guy sucks at his job. I just fucking took down a guy in front of him. He just didn't care. Huh? Oh. Why did you disappear to? Oh shit! Oh, they noticed when other watch when other watchmen are gone. That's so fucking good. I like that. That's how I saw someone, someone right here. Let's ah. check the place just in case. Hey, you wanna you wanna hurt your bud? Uh, 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 One. Yeah, all right. That's that, I guess. Actually, no, this one's already dead, so... I didn't do that. I was like, can I hide in there? That'd be fun if I could hide in there. Okay, but like, real talk? The fact that you can still fucking... Uh, do non-lethal takedowns even after you've been caught is so fucking nice. That is like the one thing I wanted uh, from Dishonored 1. Like genuinely, that was like my one big problem is that if you get caught the really only way out is just kind of by murdering people. Uh, so it's nice to know that like, hey we did a thing to fix that for you. It's so fucking cool, yeah. Attention, Dunwall, Attention, Dunwall okay. citizens. Today, on this Today Delilah Caldwin is our new empress. All hail Delilah, first of her name. Further, the former empress, Emily Caldwin, is now wanted for treason. Any of you found harboring Emily Caldwin will be fined and arrested. People of Dunwall, stay in your homes. You're advised to stay indoors during this time of unrest. I think I just saw something. I'm 
someone there? This won't take long. Ow. Ow, Jesus. Come on. Come on! There you go. I want to put him in the safe. The safe is too small, but I want to put him in there. He'll be fine. Probably. Stocking without a leg? That's what. Nothing. Worse than Too nothing, much, she says. And she'll leave him. I can wait. Are you just a civilian? So it's a coup. The Caldwins have finally fallen. Never thought I'd see the day. It seems so. Okay, and I'm wondering if these guys will. Corvo Atano couldn't stop it. Shh. We shouldn't be talking about this. No, they don't care. Well, that's nice. Even if you fail the fucking quick time event. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, that guy's being really hard on himself, but also he just, uh, murdered my dad. So I'm like, eh. Yeah, like, I, I don't mean to be rude, but generally whenever someone kills someone you care about, they become a little less sympathetic. What wouldn't I give for a bottle of pear soda? Honestly, me the fuck do, dude. Yum. Laura, don't tell me my business. My family's been at this game for a long time and I'm not acting alone. Currently I have several friends working on similar pamphlets aimed at further turning public opinion against Emily Caldwin and her cursed royal protector. Lady Brambley is calling hers Bastard Daughter. That ought to light them up at court. Nathan Bettenbridge is nearly finished with prosecution for Corvo Atano. I'm giving consideration to releasing my own as should Parliament rule a modest proposal. Yes, I know she's the Empress, but eventually she'll bow under the weight that we will bring down upon her. First the gentry here in Dunwall, then the Parliament, finally the other isles. By early next month, look for these works plastered on walls here in the capital city. But if you're abroad, you'll see them in Dubo uh, Dabokva, Alba, Karnaka, Kalkini, and Yarrow as well. I have friends all over, Laura. Don't let it slip your mind for a second. Boyle. Now is that Lady Boyle? Because we murdered one of them. It's not my job to clean up. Because because it, if it's Lady Boyle, we murdered one of them last time. But, well, we might as well have murdered her. We we did the not one useless suck. Boiling my husband what? alive in oil. What the fuck? How'd you see me? Sure, he knows how to talk with the boss. What a lick spittle.
Oh shit. Uh, yeah, so in my personal playthrough, uh, I did the not, uh, lethal ending for that quest, uh, but the non-lethal ending ends with you, uh, basically sending her off with her stalker, uh, to never be seen again. Oh, hey. Oh, well. How did you not see me through the fucking stairs, but saw me like that? Wild. Anyway. Yeah, so all all the uh, the non-lethal kills are kind of fucked up in their own way in Dishonored. Uh, but, like, it's fine. Anyway, guess what, buddy? It's nap time for you. Sleep. <laughs> I love this. Just random screams outside. <laughs> ah! Yeah, me too. I feel it. Oh, this is the fucking place that I was before. Okay. These are the guards that didn't give a shit. Oh. Yikes. Oh, yikes. Hello. Sleepy ass could never guard the Imperial Palace. What did you mean by that? Huh? What's that noise? What's that noise? <laughs> you know, that's kind of unpleasant, but like, oh well. Well, we're in my day. Must have been the wind. Citizens of Dunwall, listen up. For the sake of your family, turn over all information concerning Emily Caldwin and Corvo Atana. My sleepy ass could never watch. I really like your mustache. You got a you got a good beard going on. Better pong that gong. Where's the gong? Oh, the clock pendulum? I already did that. I just did that. Ooh. Now what if I do? Again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, wake up. Sleeping past his alarm. Ugh. Irresponsible, really. Love stealing. Delilah and the Duke didn't hire the most refined assassin. Yeah, no, this is pretty, uh, pretty yucky. People are assuming this is, like, Corvo's handwork, but, like, my guy Corvo didn't fucking string people up on a goddamn easel. Kind of fricked up. Kind of fluffed up. 
I don't know, yeah, you can. You didn't see shit. I'm going in the dumpster. I don't like that. I thought I saw someone right here. Let's check the place just in case. I'm going in the dumpster. Did I imagine that? No, I'm sure. Hey, bud. Something moved. I wonder who that was. I wonder who that was. He just didn't do anything. Okay. By order of the city watch. Locked. What am I supposed to do now? Gotta get away. I should talk to the captain of that ship. I'd advise you to return to your home. If I can't get through, that's it for my shop. The entire month will be ruined. I'm hungry. Trust me. You don't want to be out on the streets right now. Move along. Huh, I'm hungry. No idea what that was. I don't know, it sounded like uh, a dumpster opening or something. Must have been imagining it. Dum de dum. Hey, so you're not gonna narc on me, are you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, you fucking l looked at the dumpster the wrong way. It fucking clangs with the sound enough to fucking burst your eardrums. Somebody's not feeling well. Someone there. That's Emily Colvin. Ah. Oops. Okay, well, I guess I'm running. You think you're clever, huh? Hey, who is? You think you're being quiet? Look in the water. Yeah, no, like, genuinely, actually, really enjoying the voice lines. Lady, you want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. <gasps> is that who I think it is? Yeah, Maybe it is! Anyway, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the yeah, city. There's yeah, 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 yeah. I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours. Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary. Oh, she lost himself. an arm. And I came to warn you. I know, Anton. But Corvo's gone. The Duke of Circonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Yes, let's go. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, uh, bodies detected. Detections 14. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
chaos level is low though. Okay, so I actually want to I want to show off the thing that's right here. Uh, can't see it because of me. Let me. Whoop. There's a little fucking graph. Look at that. There's a little graph of like where you are uh, in regards to like killing and stealth. That's so cool. I love that. That's really nice. Yeah, no, because like in the in in the first game, it was just kind of this screen. It was just kind of this. That was all it was. So like. So I'm like, hey, yeah, you fucking did non-lethal mostly, uh, but you were spotted a lot. That was, that's neat. I like that. That's so fucking cool. A strange visit. Something feels off. Find out what's going on. Press any key. Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels... odd. Oh shit. Ugh. Uh. What is this place? Yay! Okay, cool. I always love the void sections. something moving closer. Watching. Hello, Mr. Outsider. Empress Emily Caldwin. I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued bad old by the yeah. strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. Someone yanks the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father. And I promise Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty? And are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? I asked Corvo those questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. Ooh, ooh, oh fuck yes, that's so cool. We can say no to him. <laughs> we can fucking turn it down. Oh, oh no. I don't think I want to do that yet. I don't think I'm good enough at this game to fucking do no powers. Ooh, but that's so fucking cool. <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, I think I'm gonna go accepting it for now, but if I have to replay it, I might, I might do, uh, no powers mode. That's cool. I really like that they give you that option. It burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. All the stories, they're true. Ooh. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. Hers is different, too. What is that? It feels familiar. The heart. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother? 
You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand. I will guide you. Ooh. Okay. There are no stars in the sky here. There is no sky. Delilah, really? How could she? I don't understand. Quite like Delilah, I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes fawning sycophants of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, so there is different powers. So if you if you look at the little bottom left, Blink for Corvo and Far Reach for Emily are useful for stealth, exploration, and evasion, not just combat. So they have different powers. That's really fucking when cool. I was ten years old, bored with my lessons. I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Mm -hmm. Everything I know has been turned on its head, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great oh. jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat, red ruby. That's how I always thought of it. Up close, the city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood and ambition. The birthplace of my father. Megan Foster is a stranger, but there's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer using the crown killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back. You know, Emily, I know you're the protagonist and everything, but have you considered, I don't know, maybe not having an empire is a good thing? I, I don't know, I'm just... Just putting it out there. Maybe not having an empire is a good thing. Uh, I don't know. Just, just, just give him my two cents. Oh hell yeah! Right in the travel log. Yeah, I'm not going to read this out just because uh, it's a lot. 
as you can see. I'm liking the new UI though. It's fun. Alright, so let's look at the powers that we have. Ooh. Oh, fuck yes. So there's just entirely different powers. I like that a lot. You know, the motion is a little, uh, unpleasant, but otherwise it's fine. Oh shit, crossbow. It's not where you used to, living in a palace, but this is all the coin I could scrape up. Anton and I operate on a tight budget, and I guess, guess what? Now you do too. If it's not beneath you, pick up whatever valuables you find along your way. We'll need ammo and resources to take down the people behind the coup. Hidden all over the city, there are underground black market shops. Look for a symbol depicting two hands, which means there's a shop nearby. Follow the signs, they'll guide you. Buying from the black market is against the law, but it can make the difference against the Duke's military. Sokolov was working on this crossbow as a gift for you. If you need it modified, these shops can help with that as well. I can. Yeah, neat. Yeah, okay, cool. Repair the things that got busted up in Anton's room when he was taken. It's been weeks now. No, scratch that. Not until I bring him home. As a show of faith that he will be coming back. Unblock the storage door. Looks like something fell on the other side, and I really need to sell the stuff locked up in there make some coin. Pay the port tax and look the other way fees to those grand guard bastards before they wonder who my passenger is this time. I'll do it when I get the money. Ooh. I'm looking at the, the, the glass and the heart. Ooh. Lighting effects. My favorite. Anton, your idea of improving the head gasket ceiling with a guano coating is the worst you've ever had. I'll make you sleep in the engine room if you don't fix your mess by tomorrow. Megan, if all inventors were as delicate and short-tempered as you are, you and I would still be paddling around in carved-out logs. Megan, I made some mulberry cake. It's my own recipe, improved by Tivian Spices. I left it in the galley. Anton, where are you, you old fool? I hope nobody hurt you. I'll find you, I swear. I miss you. So, like, I like the... Okay, so, for those who aren't aware, uh, I didn't play Dishonored for the longest time because, like, the faces in the first game made me, like, genuinely uncomfortable to look at. I don't know what it was, but I just didn't like it at all. But this, this I like a lot. Like, they seem to have refined their... Right, isn't that underwater? If I do this, will I regret it? Look, 
little bit. I only regretted it a little bit. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Alright, let's go talk with... Rats. Hello. Let's go talk with Megan. See if she's up here. She's not, but... Addermeyer solution. That's different. Dreadful whale accounting. Yeah, no, like, I like audio that changes depending on context. It's good. Big fan, may I say. Okay, I heard her over here. Here up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. Uh, 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 uh. I've been on route for two weeks. I hope Sokolov is alright. Wherever he is. Okay, the bloom's a little much, I will say. Yeah, the polish in this one, uh, compared to, to compared to Dishonored 1, really good. The lighting is a little insane, though. On the effect of the winds in Karnakin, landmass, and resulting economic positions. Whale oil. Liquid power. How astonishing that within those beasts, inside the oil harvested along with their flesh, was enough power to see the isles through these tumultuous ears. And it all seemed limitless, but now the lights begin to dim. Our fisher folks say the great beasts are increasingly rare. Not all places will suffer this loss equally, fellow natural philosophers. Karnaka has a unique feature, the cleft in the Shindere Peak, through which the winds are channeled and amplified. As whale oil begins to run short, with the cost of finding the remaining leviathans escalating beyond the worth of the oil itself, Karnaka will find itself ascendant among the isles. Neat. Ooh, yum. Fruits. Cut. All right. You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide, but Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. The fucking tapping noises as she hit the wall here. Ugh. Sound design. I love it. This Dr. Hypatia. She seems to represent the good that's possible within the Empire. No one should perish in the mines. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. I would, I would hope so. Dunwall citizens express shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of Empress Emily Caldwin has met with a violent demise. The latest victim is none other than Ichabod Boyle, notable entrepreneur and supporter of the arts. 
Boyle recently wrote an opinion piece harshly criticizing the Empress for what he called her slipshod style of governance and her willful neglect of duties. Authorities are convinced the crown killer is the culprit given the gruesome details left at the crime scene. As Her Majesty's most outspoken adversaries fall one by one to this notorious assassin, we boldly ask, is it now the duty of the royal protector to murder all those who dare to criticize the throne? Yeah, like... I don't... I don't mean to be, you know... Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to stir up any opinions, but... Maybe peop maybe things should be better. Miss Empress, that is literally your job. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna extinguish this candle. That's a fire hazard. Beautiful. 2016 was a good fucking year for games, honestly. Crossbow bolts. Bice. Always tinkering, painting, Ooh. living life with gusto. That's so cool. Yeah, this was 2016. I'm sorry, I'm really enjoying the. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Okay. You know, this is 2016, so, like, fucking fantastic look for 2016. By Anton Sokolov, a reflection on my journey to the Pandisian continent, number one. A colleague of mine owns a stunning map of the known world. Adorned with curly cues and sea beasts, it is a cherished spot over her mantle. She paid handsomely for it, and was so bristled when I enumerated the various errors. Chief among them, of course, the size and placement of the Pendithian continent. Oh, how cartographers are loath to show how small and distant our empire really is compared to that giant landmass. As if Pandesia were but a few days' journey from Aran. Every veteran ship captain knows that it takes months to reach those shores. I had no doubt that Pandesia was rich in resources, but a place must be understood if we ever hope to exploit its myriad treasures. These were my thoughts as I agreed to join the ill-fated expedition, and so it was, on the third day of the month of Earth, under calm gray skies, the great sea vessel Antonia Aquila uh, set sail with captain, crew, researchers, and myself, 38 of us total, for what would be the most terrifying and spiritually draining experience of my life. Neat. What are you? Uh oh, that's kind of a little, that's a little scary. Dearest Emily, or must I say, your Imperial Majesty, I have something that you and Corvo must hear at the first opportunity that concerns the murders happening across the Empire committed by this so called Crown Teachers. When I left Crystal years ago, I swore I'd never again take part in any further political matters. I've done my share of bad things, and some good, before and after the Red Plague. But here in Karnaka, I've uncovered a terrible conspiracy against you. Here, at the bottom of the Empire, the cobblestones smell of death and corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwald in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was stolen from you and your father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. Wait, what's wrong with you? Megan! <sighs> Off we go. Soon <clears throat> off to somewhere more private. They really did, uh, change the voice actors for kind of everyone, it seems. Did Corvo? I, I feel like 
feel like Corvo had voice lines, and I know it's not the same one. Anton Sokolov's investigation notes. Why can't an old man enjoy his last years in a warmer climate with good wines and spicy foods without stumbling into another nest of aristocratic vipers eager to coil around the heart of this empire? As I've learned more each week for months now, I've found my mind turning, turning over the movements beneath the surface here in Karnaka. Duke Luca Abel and some inner circle that even seems to include Captain Mortimer Ramsey of the Dunwall City Watch, a betrayal that boggles the mind. How many others are involved? They aim their venom at our dear Empress, young Emily, that much is certain. But when will they strike, and how? Do I dare spend another month gathering stray bits of esoteric information, linking it together with what we already know? Can we even afford another week? Or should Megan and I set out for Bristol tonight, taking this leaky tub up through the canal? Corvo will not hesitate. He will act as soon as I hand over what I know, and if I'm too hasty, it might be his undoing, coming home to his na native Sirkonos without some critical piece of knowledge about this affair. And then there's this crown killer to worry about. If that fiend is part of Duke Abel's schemes, as I suspect, how long until the dreadful whale catches the Duke's eye? But yeah, fucking, I kind of, I kind of miss Sokolov's weird pseudo-Russian uh, accent. I'll always miss my lessons with Anton Sokolov. He made so many clever devices during my mother's time. Where are we going? This one table is like ridiculously bright. I might turn down the brightness just a little bit. Visuals. Brightness. That's not much better. It's fine. It's Bayonetta time. Enjoy Bayonetta. Board the skiff for Kanaka. Where's the... Is it you? Are you the skiff? Oh, there you are. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Yes, please. Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go, then. It won't do to be recognized. Oh. Okay, so we do just we just, just do just have a face scarf. Oh well. I take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. This looks really fucking good. Before his death, the old Duke of Sircono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my hand now. This is a good spot. Reach Adamire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adamire. <sighs> Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. Tutorial, chaos level, your actions affect the world around you. I would, yeah, I would imagine. Where am I gonna find the money for that? Oh, 
she blows. Hark, under she goes. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. What ship is that out there? You know the skipper? Mm -hmm. A dreadful whale. No, it's not on the registry. Maybe one of the uh, recent importers from Morley. Uh, let's give it a day or two. If she's still there, I can... I can ask a friend who's with the Grand Guard to take a squad. That's Adermeyer in the distance. I missed the time when I could go to sleep without wondering if I'd wake up. Dude, are you okay? I moved down from Calero. Thought there'd be more work here. Christ. That's a really fucked up thing to say to a random fucking stranger. Alright then. Maybe a little more. Yeah, I'm terrified of dying in my sleep. Damn, the light is amazing, but I'm going sunblind. Me too. Uh, yeah, no, this looks really fucking good. The way the ocean <laughs> Genuinely. Shimmers. My phone went off. Beautiful. Message. You still eat meat? All the blood flies and all. I'm not sure it's safe. Of course I I mean, I trust my butcher, but... How can you be sure there aren't any of those filthy grubs in my steak? I just boil everything. Simple as that. Tastes like shoe leather, but it's better than eating blood fly larva. Am I right? I only buy meat if I see the animal killed in front of me. And I cook it right away. That's another solution. I miss the days when you could look at a dinner plate without having nightmares. The, the way that actor does that voice, it just makes me think of Marge Simpson. I don't know why. I mean, I, I do know why, but like... Why does that come to mind? The same weird, like, throat graveliness. Ooh, blood. Ooh, can I play the fucking dice? I heard they're laying workers off at the fisheries. Ooh, an eight. Not bad. I wonder if these are actually random. Oh, no, he got an eight again. I'm pretty sure this, these are not... Yeah, damn, dude, you keep getting eights. had a boat of my own. That's the life. Two coins for that cat laugh? Yes! Well, no more, thank you. Oh, I didn't see what he got. Again? Wood. I got stung by a blood fly once. Arms swelled up, something awful. Yeah, okay. I should get a longer break. I count on my dad. Hello there. I should be able to come. You're not from here, am I right? Welcome to Karnaka then. You know, I actually, I actually do enjoy the. Of there is no longer any doubt that the recently unseated Empress Emily Caldwin is responsible for the recent string of horrible murders. The former monarch is on the run, confirming our suspicions about her guilt and associations with the crown killer. Indeed, some have even suggested that Emily herself committed the appalling crimes, as it is well known she was raised by conspirators and murderers. The Grand Sir Conan Guard has promised rewards for any information leading to an arrest, and warns the fugitive will be shot on sight if spotted. Duke Abel recently stated that the former Empress will likely receive a fair trial if she turns herself in peacefully and forthwith. As always. Hopefully they'll just leave me alone. I like the talking to, you know, civilians. Maybe I just won't pay at all. Who's gonna send it? Your face is covered. Yes. Are you worried someone might recognize you? Are you implying something, friend? I used to work in the mines. <laughs> Don't recommend it. Fellow Sir Conan, just pay the fine and be done with it. No use making trouble. Maybe I ought to try one of those sleeping tinctures, but they can be kind of pricey. I know it's safe. What is wrong with the city? Hard times under the Duke and his Grand Guard. A man has to be ready for anything. 
on this Yeah, hard times, bud. Yeah, God forbid women do anything, right? Don't be greedy, friend. Uh oh, you're kind. Thank you. If you want to get past that wall of light, I've heard people sneaking through this blood fly infested apartment. Going through there will get you to the other side of that Grand Guard checkpoint. Thank you. Let's hope you never need help. Okay, this is really cute. Illegal trade means weapons and ammunition. I like the I like the gloved hands. Ring ring. Hey. Come here. I have something that might interest you. Hello, man. My name's Mindy Blanchard, and you look like someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Wanna help me with something? Uh, you scratch sure. my ass, I'll scratch yours. I don't think I, I want to do anything anymore. Meyer Institute. Can you help me with that? Yeah. I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. Don't worry. He's already Her name dead. is Mindy Blanchard. A body? That's odd. From where? The overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it. Then meet me in the old basement below the dentist office near there. I'll think about it. Yeah, I don't know if I want to, um, steal a body? I'm not a... I'm not sure about that. Blood flies stop us? I'm in. Just remember to move slowly, and don't get too close No, I'm not a ghoul. Sorry. We don't even know... Clearing blood fly nests. Lento, you're either brave or desperate to accept this job. We used to smoke flash blood flies with full crews, but the infestations are bad now, and the Duke cancelled the funding. So we get rid of the nest by hand. Here's what you need to do need to know to stay alive. If you need to slip past a blood fly swarm or nest, keep your distance and move slowly or they'll attack. When the blood flies are calm, you're fine. If they take flight and start glowing, it's trouble. If you get swarmed, you gotta run away or fight. Smash the blood flies or burn them. Same for the nests. A blood fly swarm will keep coming back until you destroy the nest for that swarm. That's really all you need to know. You'll do fine. Oh yeah, another thing. If you find any blood amber in a nest, just keep it as a bonus and make sure the Grand Guard doesn't see. Or they'll ask for some urban sanitation tax or whatever. Good luck. Blood amber? Or if the people inside had any money. We just know they're dead and the place is infested with blood flies. It's infested, all right. Move slowly, stay away from the nests, and try to avoid getting filled with blood fly venom and eggs. As I do, this is our chance. Stung to death. Then we end up hatching more blood flies for the next group of idiots who try to get inside. Idiots. Okay, so it's in there. Come in. If you found this place, I'll trade with you. Here. Ah, I see. So he sells the room. Good to know. Ooh, sleep guards. Don't mind if I do. I'll take that deal. Glad we could do business. You want I like this. Prince for better weaponry. You won't 
regret it. Thank you, sir. Come back soon. I mean, if I'm still here. Yeah, fair enough. Appreciate it. So many hands built this place. And it is so grand. Well, oh, so grand. We could have been a paradise alone. Let us rejoice at the crowning of our new Empress Delilah Caldwin the First, and the eminent arrival of His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Circonos, now royal consort. You know that was supposed to go to life. For three days following the Duke's all official government Ooh, activity. Okay. I got three or four runes. Okay. Doppelganger. Yeah. Put on hold as the Duke recovers from his travels and additional tariffs will be levied. So let's look at the powers. Dark Vision. Classic. Shadow Walk. Okay. Mesmerize. Some avoid spirit to enthrall humans or hounds. Domino. Link human targets together so they die or fall unconscious together. Ugh. Ugh. What? That's cool as fuck, but what? Yeah, I'm gonna get Dark Vision first, because Dark Vision is fucking important as hell. Ooh, interesting. Premonition. En enemy routes and their intended destinations are now visible to you. Use this info to avoid enemies to or, lure them, or to lure them into traps. Interesting. Okay. Let's get that. Or do I want to wait for one to get... I think I want to wait for one more to get to the Greater Dark Vision. Because that is so fucking helpful. Covering your face won't make the Grand Guard happy. Layer way number two. The Wall of Light is a dangerous security system from the age of the Rat Plague. Those unattuned are burned to ashes upon passing through. This Wall of Light is powered by a windmill, but others are fueled by removable whale oil tanks. Everyone is looking for me. It might pay to be discreet. I warned you. Please, you gave me no choice. Please? It's too late for... Apollo, guess what happens next? This is how we get rid of snitches. If anyone asks, he just ran through it. Yeah, we couldn't stop him. I'm not going to get ghost at all uh, during this difficulty. Because they were not joking when they say, yeah, these guys got eyes. They can actually pay attention.
So the Bone Charm, I'm assuming, is the one that's in there. Enjoyer of that. I love you, destructible terrain. Potato. Carrot. Accidentally solved a puzzle, I guess. Them some big ass flies, to be honest. Ooh. Yucky. Warning Blood fly infestation. Yeah, I bet. These shits are like fucking pigeon size. Just fucking swing wildly. No trespassing. Charms. Bone charms provide minor supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening to the song they emit, or use the heart to detect them from farther away. Further away. By default, you can activate up to five bone charms at once in the bone charms section of the journal. Yeah, just the fucking exterminator pulls out a sword and just starts fucking going at him. Bone charm. Robust. Elixirs restore slightly more health. Sure, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, 
I wonder if you can parry them. That'd be really funny. Rotten Tibian pair. Keep up. I read that as keep going for a second. I was like, huh? Body dead, body dead. Oh no, they're dead. I hate it when women die. Ooh, Sarconan plantains. Yum. Slap. Hey, take this. body. All dead. You hate to see it. Anyway, good to know I can use bodies as bait for them. Carcophony. Damn, it's dark as hell in here. Engineer TF2? One second. Uh, visuals. Brightness. Crank it! No, one second. I said crank it! Oh, that's, that's washed the fuck out. Kind of looks like Engineer TF2, or Soldier TF2. Body dead. Body dead, of course. I was up there. Okay. You say something's amiss, and then I just can't get comfortable. Okay, so is this a more Grand Guard soldiers? Best to avoid. Long as we day yet, it's gotta be soon. 
can't stand my own stench. Oh no. Get away. No. Get back here. Shit. No. 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 They're stinging me. Running. Let's see what you've got. Mercy. Don't let her escape. I'm with you. Okay. Well, good to know. If we open that, uh boy dies. B boys die. Boys get murdered. The kick, yeah. Real ballsy Ooh, move, honestly. Soldiers, best to avoid. Genuinely impressed. My boy up here. And pop him in the corner. There we go. Search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Show yourself. I like how it's like heartbeats as opposed to just constant now. That's really interesting. I like that. No, yeah, no, this is just the, the process. Clear out the area until we can get there. What's the side objective here? Get help from Indy. Enter the Overseer's Outpost. I don't think I want to do that. Uh, you know, I haven't tried. Let's look. Pull yourself rapidly across a distance. Upgrade far reach to pull enemies and objects towards you. So yeah. Neat. I'm do a quick save. Do I want to? Do I want to even check out the the guards outpost? Because, like, I'm trying to think. Let's get some help from Indy. Why not? Yikes. 
How'd the execution go? I told her if you want my advice, oh. just pay. Fine, and be done with it. I'm just making trouble. Move along. We're conducting a search for heretical artifacts. What? Here? Reverse. Listen. This area is restricted on the authority of the Abbey. No one is allowed inside. I will ask again today if this is truly her chosen path. I can only hope the outsider has gone to her first. Something is amiss. Some heathen grown bo by these times. I shall not abide the football of a blasphemous wanderer. You know, really good. I like it a lot. Devouring everything wherever they go. Okay, this is gonna be a bad idea, so I'm quick saving. Huh? Yeah, okay, that worked. <laughs> what the um looking for a quite to execute the blasphemer? You're Ah! Ooh. Yikes. Yeah, no, he fucking just flumped over. Flumped? Slumped. It was coming from here. Let's see. Someone there? I don't feel safe. What is wrong with this city? do I guess. I'm gonna do some exploring in here. See there's a oh there's literally just a, a window and a door over there. Okay. Yeah okay. So there's a way around. It's just across the place that I've already passed. Oops. Oops. <laughs> the overseers are fucking scary in us.
scary. I'm sorry, I'm just having a lot of fun. Like, I, I, I should be probably progressing, but like, ooh. There's just so much to look at. Falling Star. Drop Assassination restores some mana. Ooh. Neat. I probably won't use that. So, what I've just done has made it so I can't get back up. Hello, ma'am. I cover your face. Are you worried someone might recognize you? A friend of mine got killed by blood flies, so I take them real serious. Understandable. Secret letter to Brother Harold. Good Brother Harold, last week when we talked, oh, what a state I was in. It was good of you to take me aside and lend your advice. I have taken it to heart, and I know you are correct. Yes, I will need to be purified through ritual. Ah, what a road I have ahead of me. I know it well, for you may not know, but I endured the ritual once before, but three years ago. Though I was young and strong, I came within an inch of death. If I may impose upon you once again, would you be so kind as to not mention our conversation to anyone? I will arrange for the ritual, of course, very soon. Though I confess, ever since our talk, I feel much better. No comparison to that agitated state in which you found me. Peace and clarity have returned to me. Truly, I do feel better. In all things, Brother Chester. Oh well.
Hey, now I have a way out. city once, before the dude began choking the life out of the place, before the crown killer started painting the walls red. Now you're here, and I have to wonder whether you're going to give it that final nudge, or pull it back from the edge. We've both seen cities go bad before. Vermin, blood, and betrayal. It's happening again. I hope you're ready. <sighs> Albinos. What? Rat swarms include more white rats. Interesting. Letter from Mindy. Nice tattoo you have on your Mac, Abadeo. Where did you find the original drawing? You want to chat about it? Go to the crone's hand and dust it, or you can ask for Mindy. You won't regret your time. into your home. Here in the city. Instead, they're made in a few locations, kept from us, and shipped out. It seems dangerous. <sighs> Far worse to have the knowledge and construction materials scattered across the aisles. The metals used to make the devices are unusually rare. The this is, um, is by anyone but not a fantastic place to be. Resolute overseers would border on heresy. I suppose you're correct. It grieves <sighs> me to imagine what cultists might accomplish. If they took the music boxes and perverted them to their own ends. Exactly, brother. Much better to protect such a powerful tool. Assemble them in secret and dispatch them across the Empire where they're needed in the fight against the supernatural. Perhaps a, perhaps a smidge perilous, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, let me just let me just sneak that real quick. Esteemed High Overseer Kulan, I hope you're in good health and not too nostalgic for Wagon, which I'm told is striking this time of year. Forgive my stream of letters, but our problems with Sirkonos are significant. Any un insights you can offer would be welcome. Duke Abel is a travesty, openly disdainful for the Abbey, and I, yet I must maintain relations with him for the welfare of this nation. You've been called a unifier, something the Abbey greatly needed after the horrors of the Rat Plague, so your guidance would be of value. Under the Duke, the streets here are overrun with cutthroats. Paolo and his gang grow bolder every day. Lastly, my most recent correspondence with our oracular sisters has been troubling. Their responses have arrived after a mark marked delay, and the recent proclamations possess an unusual cadence. Yours in faith, Vice Overseer Liam Byrne. Tap. Tip. Okay, I'm gonna do a, perhaps a dumb thing. Huh? 
just let him let him pass out in his sleep or in his pot there. Probably nothing, but I'll be right back. If it's a rat, kill it, will you? What? How did that... How did that work? How did the other one not come and rush in? A rat threw that bottle across the room. Kill it, would you? I'm so sorry, dude. Sit down, please. Some take comfort from the strictures. from a commonly distributed overview of the seven strictures. Surround your innermost being with these strictures and you will be safe. The seven strictures are our core principles, taught and reinforced by overseer across the aisles. From these principles stem all manner of rules, social codes, and belief about the cosmos. One, the wandering gaze. Two, the lying tongue. Three, the restless hands. Four, roving feet. Five, the rampant hunger. Six, the wanton flesh. Seven, the errant mind. All these behaviors must be restricted in order to keep one's heart free from the malevolent influences. They are the inroads of the outside. High proof liquor, flammable. Yeah, okay. Overseer Liam Byrne. Yeah, so I'm not going to be reading everything just because that's a hookah. Uh, I've got places to be in real life soon, so. body is important. Even though I don't fully understand the situation. We'll wait for the vice overseer. When should Byrne arrive? He's engaged currently. He'll send someone else. Maybe overseer to Don. Until then, we stay where we are. Will the heretic's corpse attract blood flies, brother? No, I've just been it already. It should be fine here for now. But mark me, anyone who shows up here has ill will at heart. There are no coincidences in Karnaka. Someone's asking for trouble over there. What the fuck? Strictures! Isn't she the woman I on the smell posters? I on you. No mercy! I'll cure the world from the brother! Explaining! Finish her! Yikes. Accept your fate, mystery! Huh? You are going... Boom! 
Okay, well, I tried. That's it. The body Mindy sent me after. Stolen breath. Ooh, pulling enemies towards you with far reach is now stealthy and quiet. Far reach consumes more mana for all uses. Okay. Neat. So corrupted blood charms or bone charms are a thing. Good to know. I know I said I wanted to get, uh, I don't think statuesque. I, that's one that I was looking up. I don't know if it's still in the game. Statuesque is so fucking fun, though. Uh, I wonder. I want to try one of the new powers. Should I do doppelganger or should I do domino? Domino seems interesting. Ooh. Combine Domino with other powers that create surprising and interesting effects. For instance, summon a doppelganger and link it to an enemy. Any damage you deal to your own doppelganger will be shared by the linked enemy. I'm gonna try that. Rise of the apostate to the heretic. You know, this is a puzzle here. Do you think it's They wouldn't do it twice, right? No, okay. Maybe I should put the corpse down before I, uh, you know, scare everyone. And that the Duke of Circanus is in her thrall, as is whispered in parlors and alehouses across the Empire. Do not doubt. We will verify this claim, and we will act. Smoke will billow. Fires will lick the stones of Dunwall Tower. And at the end of it all, Abby will stand in the ashes. Um. I say this now to all... What? what happened here? Yeah. That seemed fun. That seemed to go well. 
Agile Recovery. Recover from falls slightly quicker. You know what? I'll, I'll put that one on. I'm sorry, wait. Uh, crafted Bone Charms. Crafted Bone Charms. Neat. So we don't want to be on the ground, you know, with a... Yeah. Really wish it wouldn't uh, keep that up. Like, I, I get it. Thank you. Like, I appreciate it. I appreciate you letting me know. Please don't. God, yes. Come on, come on. Hey, you got him. Put it down in the hole. Are you just digging him a grave? Good job. Take this. I won't ask you why you needed that. So how do I get to Adermeyer? I just sent one of my boys to turn off the power to the carriage rails. When the juice is off, you can walk along the rails and get where you need to go. You know, On the that's... other side, there's a station that will take you to Adermeyer. Better than nothing. Thanks for your help. That's helpful, actually. I'll, I'll give her that. That's actually very helpful. to touch the carriage rails now. Not even people who need urgent treatment. If we tell them that we represent Lucia Pastor and the Miner's Family Committee, they can't refuse us. At an iron station. This should take me out to the Institute.
Okay, well. That's that, I suppose. First of all, didn't kill anyone. Yay! Eliminate the crown killer, who's been murdering your enemies to make you look guilty. Find your old ally, Anton Sokolov, last seen being carried towards Adermeyer. Alexandra Hypatia, who runs the place, should know more. That's an extremely Greek name. The Adermeyer Institute of Infectious Disease. Alexandria Hypatia, chief alchemist. Once it was a solarium for recuperating aristocrats. Now it's a place of alchemical study. The crown killer's taking lives in my name and has to be stopped. It's my hope that Hypatia can explain. They say she's brilliant and altruistic. Well respected across Circonos. I do enjoy the uh, open top frolly car here. That's pretty fun. Leather seats and everything. Runer Bone Charm nearby. Equip the heart. You don't say. being dry and warm. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I miss being dry and warm. <laughs> what kind of line is that? Yeah, I fucking guess. Thank you. Tricky timing. Enemy grenades take slightly longer to explode. Interesting. You know, I think... Yeah, I guess so. I think I am going to end it here, though. I gotta get ready for plans later today. I haven't made a single save game so far. Oops. Well. You know, didn't need it, I guess. I want to throw myself into some guards. One second. I wonder who that was. What you aren't going anywhere. 
Your escape! I'm back! I'll be right there! You won't get away! No use! Speed run! Yay, we did it. We beat the game. All right. That's going to be it. I'm going to see if anyone is streaming currently. But yeah, if you aren't already following uh, and want to follow, please feel free to follow. I would love to have you. I'm gonna ooh. I'm going to start a raid. Ba, 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 ba. All right. Uh yeah, so I just uploaded a few VODs to the VOD channel. Uh I did the Hunter Follower Celebration and the uh random caves of cued stream. So that's there now. Feel free to watch those if you aren't already haven't already seen them. Uh, if you're watching this uh, on a VOD, fucking hi. I hope you're doing okay. Have a good day. I hope you are enjoying <laughs> my VODs channel or my Twitch channel, and I'm glad to have you. Have a good day. I'm going to start this raid. <laughs> this channel is intended for mature audiences. All right. Have a good day, y'all.